Hello everyone and welcome back to Monster Hunter Stories 2. Here we just saw the big old cutscenes that uh, they kidnapped Enna, they took Ratha, there was the hunters gave it off to some riders and some guy in some really cool armor kind of glaring at us from the elevator. And now we're uh, chasing after him. So, I said this in the previous episode, but there's a lot of like little side paths and things you could take here. Like there's a chest up there. I'm not going to run around and do all of that. I'm going to try to take the most straightforward path that I can. Because otherwise I'm just going to be in this tower forever. And I'm going to be honest, this tower is just kind of a pain. Because it's just long for no other reason than to be long. And I'm gonna try to avoid monsters as best I can. <laughs> that was scary. Um, after this tower, I might do some off screen grinding so that I can get my levels up. I just don't want to do it in this tower. It's not that the monsters here are particularly bad or anything like that, it's just I don't like this tower. I don't. I don't like this tower one bit. It will force me to fight some monsters here, though. Let's see. This is why I don't like the tower. Jump Jaggy! How beat up is this place? The floor just collapsed right out from underneath us. But it looks like we can keep going this way. Guess luck's on our side. Oh yeah, let's check it out. I know I'll land on my feet, but I really hope. Okay. So we can go that way. Or this way. This one's closer. I don't remember which ones are the good ones and which ones are the bad ones. Oh, this was a bad one. I want to go up. That took me down. Uh, fine. It's a short path with just a single treasure on it. I'll grab it. And there's a T-Grex, so for being a royal monster and supposed to be an optional thing, or a, avoid it because this is going to be like a level check and a half on you, they're now supposed to be pretty much nothing to me. I can fight them like normal monsters. There's our catervan. So we're gonna save. Cause always to be safe. <sighs> Man, I'm yawning a lot. Not that I feel particularly tired, it's just Guess I'm young a lot. I don't know. The Monopolis. Which also was a uh Here it comes. royal monster in one of the areas, I believe. And in this desert area there's a white monopolis sleeping royal monster. That's an optional fight. And the monopolis, watch out for its horn attack. It can dive underground to hide too. It must have pulled up in this place after it was abandoned. Great. Oh man, I was hoping we hoping we would have poisoned it right off the bat. Hoping to save you. Oh, 
Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I was like, I'm gonna do what I do best and attack each part before I switch out, but... I already fudged that one. That's what I like to see in this household. The stomach is weak. He took poison damage. When choosing a sonic bomb, it never ch it doesn't matter what body part you choose to attack with it. And let's see what the horn is weak to. Not a sword. Sorry, not not slash. Just finish off the stomach. <laughs> Two health! I'm just happy he survived! Two health, good lord! Um, I was gonna change. Probably gonna be the same as, uh, Diablos? And it matches my armor. Monopolis and the Diablos are very similar. At least in my opinion. Gotta pull out another Sonic Bomb. Oh, I am running low on those. There should be a shop coming up, I think, that sells them? And that'll be really nice. I don't think Lucian sells I could be wrong. So back to speed. And now he's back to anger again. He just got off of being angry, but he's almost dead. Kill him! Kill him! Oh. oh man, we had him dead to rights. Come on, man. Now he's dead. Besides, so maybe another writer in writer. No offense, Roberto. You're great. You're a really nice tank. You hit really hard. I just don't prefer to run with you, is all. I have my own personal preference, I should say. If I'm struggling and I need a hard hitter or a good solid tank, I'll grab Roberto. But very rarely have I needed that. Rawr. Oh, 
Having uh, Puke be able to roar at people is very nice. Got a T-Grex blocking our way. He's kind of like right in the middle, isn't he? Yeah, you're scared. You're scared of this Puke, T-Grex. That's uh, totally sounds right for your kind of monster. Is that a Puke makes you quake in your boots because it went roar. <laughs> if you're anybody that knows anything about Monster Hunter, you would know that is uh, <laughs> not the case. But Stories doesn't care about how it actually works. Um, this one? It's taking us up! Let's see, where am I trying to go? Probably straight across. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do! <laughs> oh boy. Well, they're just the gen prey of another day, so... They're not gen prey, they're the... Velocipray? Velocidromes? I don't know, there's uh, this type for every area, pretty much. Don't, don't, and we just killed him! Come on, man. Freaking coward. Oh no, now you will be mad? That sucks. There we go. Now what are you gonna do about it, buddy? We're kicking your butt. Do we need to go up the stairs? Yeah, probably. I'll, uh, grab this wall and not it. Oh gosh. That's funny. That's funny to me. No, I don't want to go down. Dang it. Uh, but I probably had to because there's a cat in there. I forget. Because I do my dangdest to avoid this place. It's like a maze and a half, and doesn't have a good excuse to be a maze and a half. Save to be safe! Heh, <laughs> I'll grab that flower in the pot. And up we go! Again. On this side, almost at the top. Drum roll, please. For the Black Diablos. Hello, Chica.
The roof's right up ahead, buddy. Just one final push. Your power. No offense to thine, Pokey Baggy, to just be more beneficial. If you don't know why, I said hi, Chica, Black Diablos, and female, female Diablos. There's a whole like little lore story behind it. They're supposed to be more aggressive, and I believe it's because they're in heat. If I remember right. But it's Black Diablos are female Diablos. You're gonna die to the ground. There it goes, so you can give it above ground again. I have every time so far. Oh, I am kinda starting to run low. Not that I ever have that much to uh, begin with. Beat him up! Beat him up. either diving underground again or doing a big attack. Yeah, heavy weight is a kind of neat attack to attack everybody with a lot of damage. But it does that. It made a dip fall over. Halfway there, suckers! Whoa. Might as well ride again. Oh wait, it's power again. Well, it's gonna dive. No, focusing power. It's strengthening, and then it dives. Get her while she's down. Uh, let's see, probably, probably the bow, right? Tis my guess. Diablos are so all that bad because you get a full round of some just some free hits. And it's nice. He's already almost dead. So while I say I'm gonna do some grinding, I'm really not struggling all that much with these monsters in these areas. Even though I'm kind of speeding through things and avoiding fights, I'm not really all that. Ooh, 
wait. You are power now. Or your speed now. You are power now. Speed so I need tech. I said everything but the one I needed. I'm impressed. I know full-fledged hunters who who would have struggled against a monster like that. And I'd rather are waiting for us to the rooftop! And I know I'm pushing this episode a little bit longer. I know there's a cutscene coming ahead, and I don't really think it's worth cutting the episode at that uh, last save point. I'll uh, I'll cut it after the cutscene. There they are! <laughs>
Bum bum bum, big reveal. Now we've unlocked the ability to fly. It is such a faster way to get around. It'll be wonderful. We don't have to trudge and stomp everywhere we go. Is the pit that Red and I went to investigate the place where Red, well, you know by now, where he died. When we get there, I'd like to tell you more about what happened and about Red. Glad you want to do that now. So, actually, I'm going to call the episode here. There's a caravan right over there, so I'm going to head to it real quick. Yeah, so big reveal! Ratha got his wings! I'm not 100% sure what our plan was to go up there with a whole bunch of armed men. With nothing to arm ourselves, even though we have weapons, clearly. And the same with Roberto, would never take up his sword. But, you know, it all worked out well in the end. But thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a great one.